Jenkins. Here we go, folks. First of all, raining in Midtown Manhattan, 46 degrees, thoroughly nasty out there. It's going to stay that way overnight, but at least this one is basically plain rain for us. Thank goodness. All right, let's go on now. Take a look at the long-range forecast for this upcoming winter season. The month of December. Let me first of all tell you that this winter is going to start slow and easy, and it's going to finish tough. You will see what I mean now in a moment. In December, we're talking about somewhat above normal temperatures and somewhat below normal precipitation. Not a bad month of December. I think we're going to have a green Christmas rather than a white Christmas. Here are the storm dates. The 5th through the 7th, the 12th through the 14th, the 20th through the 23rd, that means significant precipitation. I'm not calling rain or snow here, just stormy weather during those dates. In January, we're talking about near normal temperatures and below normal precipitation again. A fairly dry January, here are the storm dates. Try to make a note of them. We're going to be back again between 10 and 11 o'clock tonight. And if you don't catch it the first time around, we'll do it for you later. February, below normal temperatures, colder than average in February. And again, for the third month in a row, in my estimation, slightly below normal precipitation in February. But a significant storm period, the 20th through the 22nd, a special note on that one. March, tough. March is always wacky around here, but this year... Below normal temperatures and above normal precipitation, a very stormy month. Particular attention to between the 15th and 17th, just before St. Patrick's Day, a very significant storm system will be here. All right, we go from long range to 